Today we have the NASDAQ Night Dragon CEO series with the hottest cybersecurity companies in the world. And today I have such a special guest in Galina Antova, who is the founder of Clarity. For those you who don't know, I always consider Clarity one of my, uh, my first companies that I ever partnered with and invested into after I left FireEye. And I remember meeting Galena, who was showing me all these cool OT systems and ICS systems and how we could protect them. Galena, oh my gosh, it's so great to see you. Congratulations. She is one of the, can I say this, badass women <laughs> in cyber for sure. Thank you. I know you have a long background, Siemens and IBM, yeah. and then founding Clarity as well. Yeah. What's your journey a little bit to founding Clarity? Just tell the story. Thank you, you Dave, for having me here. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Good morning, everyone. So. Um, I got into the wonderful world of industrial cybersecurity about 12 years ago. So I started the industrial cybersecurity services business at Siemens, and that just kind of gave me a view of the fact that the world literally runs on critical infrastructure mm -hmm. and how that's top priority to protect the critical infrastructure and the lives that, that we lead. And so um, after that, I left Siemens, started Clarity, and it's just been an amazing journey since then. Unbelievable. So here's the company worth almost two billion, raised six hundred and forty million dollars, crossed a hundred million in ARR now, and continuing to grow. We're I just mean, getting uh, started. <laughs> just getting started. Tell everybody just for a minute what does Clarity yeah. do, just so the audience hears. Yeah, it. absolutely. So if you think of anything that's a cyber physical system, and of course critical infrastructure falls within that, but anything that are the automation controllers out there in the world that are running manufacturing, oil and gas, nuclear power plants. If you think of all the hospitals and the medical device equipment, um, if you think of all the IoT devices in this building, it's all the physical infrastructure that basically gets the world running, right? And so we protect all of that. It's extremely diverse. It is extremely um, uh, different in terms of like the protocols that those devices are running. And this is what gives us uh, clarity and advantage because we understand all of these protocols and these devices and we understand kind of what the vulnerabilities are and what to protect them. But it's basically anything that's a cyber physical system. And the reason I'm saying we're just getting started is if you think about the world that we live in, right? There are like 3,000 cyber companies that are protecting our computers, and there's barely a few of us that are protecting the actual physical world that we live in. And so as we go through this like cyber physical convergence, companies like Clarity will become extremely important to kind of the future of the world. I can't agree more. <clears throat> this is an area that is long overdue in my opinion. Yeah. We only have about maybe five or six percent penetration of security products into our OT and ICS networks. This is an extremely large total addressable market and a really important one. Talk for a minute why. I mean, we're starting to see threats and yep. breaches yep. and government response. Just talk a little bit about the perfect storm and what's happening Absolutely. There. So kind of like two key things are, are happening, and, and you know that, Dave, because you've seen it from the front lines. One kind of like the internal reasons is digital transformations, right? <clears throat> Especially the pandemic showed us that um, we could do a lot more with a converged infrastructure. So companies are pushing very hard to take advantage of all of their automation systems, get better data from their systems, they're connecting their manufacturing to the cloud and all of that. In order to get the benefits of that, you need connectivity, right? With connectivity come challenges because now you're connecting legacy devices that you know were built like 30, 40 years ago. So this is where Clarity comes in kind of from that side of, of, of the equation. Obviously, the world that we live in, geopolitics are playing incredible role, right, in, into the type of attacks that we're seeing those networks are uh, uh, critical, therefore they're valuable. Think about a hospital, right? And think about the urgency in a case of a ransomware, the urgency that the security team would have to basically get those systems up and running. I mean, it's like literally a matter of life and death, right? So this is why this is so important, right? And threat actors are absolutely taking advantage of that. There's no question about it. I mean, we talk about Russia and for Russia, there's not really a a difference between nation state or, or, or you know, the uh, uh, kind of like the freelancers that are ha helping them. So it's just, it's absolutely has become a national agenda item. And I mean, you, you do a lot of work uh, with a federal government. The number one priority in the White House national cyber strategy that was just released, 
protect critical infrastructure, the number one priority. And I'm just so happy that we're kind of aligning on those priorities because it's it's absolutely, it's it's the world we live in, right? Mm -hmm. Number two priority, defend forward, right? Absolutely disrupt those adversaries because they are going after our critical infrastructure in various different ways. And when we think about the impact of, of potential breaches, this is really what's at stake. It's it's lives in hospitals, it's you know access to medication for our pharma companies, it's the electricity, it's like literally everything that we do in our day-to-day -day life depends on automation, depends on those cyber physical systems. I'm smiling just loving your passion <laughs> so going in. Passion, yeah. You're so smart, you're so passionate, Thank you. and, and it's incredible to watch, and I can't agree more. You know, the roles I serve on the government, we see this area as probably the most critical area in all of cyber to get shields up, as Jen yeah. Easterly, Homeland Security talks about. We have to do a lot more. So Clarity's reached 100 million or so of revenue. Yeah, yeah. And now the road to 500 million is here probably as we start to the think about how to The road to a billion, <laughs> absolutely. Um, so look, we've done a couple of major things in the last two years to kind of um, address the need that we're seeing um, in the industry. And that came from, you know, how the market is developing, feedback from our customers. So first and foremost, we want to be the company that is protecting every single type of cyber physical device, right? So think about you walking into a hospital, right? You've got obviously the medical devices that we protect, but you also have the infrastructure of the hospital. You've got elevators, escalators, um, HVAC, the systems that are pushing oxygen into the, into the um, uh, operating rooms, right? So you can't just say, I'm going to protect this with one type of technology and the other one with, no one has the time to integrate five different products mm -hmm. to address the totality of their automation and cyber physical system. So that's number one what we've done is address anything and everything that's a cyber physical device so that when we walk into a manufacturer, uh, manufacturing company, hospital, nuclear power plant, um, airport, you name it, we can protect from A to Z everything that's a cyber physical system. The second thing we've done is to make sure that we give them, first of all, the visibility and then build all the use cases after that. What vulnerabilities do you have? How do you remediate them? Continuous threat detection and monitoring, how to provide secure remote access to those sites. Um, how to prioritize uh, and help them with their virtual segmentation project. So we are basically the one platform that helps them extend their governance to the cyber physical systems that they have, and they do that with one platform. You've done something really unique that I think most cyber companies have not done, and that is raise capital from really strategic Strategics, partners. Yeah. Talk yeah. a little bit about how you help design that and raise that. It's really unique to hear. Yeah, absolutely. Well, coming from Siemens, I absolutely recognize the role that the large OEMs and the industrial control system vendors and all the other uh, uh, kind of major players play in that. And so we absolutely decided that we needed to partner with the folks that are making those infrastructure products, right? So for example, we've got um, Siemens, um, Schneider Electric, Rockwell Automation as investors, and they've been there on the road with us from, from the beginning and many other strategic um, uh, partners. And so that has been amazing. But again, as you mentioned, we're just getting started because the world, the world's infrastructure is what we're protecting. So. Um, the road to a billion. <laughs> road to a billion. I yeah. love the mantra, yeah. Galena. Oh yeah. my gosh, it's been such an honor to know you and the team at Clarity, and uh, I wish you all the best of success. And uh, watch for this company, Clarity, <laughs> protecting our infrastructure, our most critical assets around the world. Galena and Toba, thank you for thank joining you, me. Thank you, Dave. Awesome, Appreciate it. Okay, awesome. You. Thank you.